lot of amazing stuff. I think that looks good, but doesn't taste Today, we're gonna head to uh, Cow 4. It's gonna be a day in the life video. Not too interesting to be honest. It's gonna be very simple. I'm gonna show you what we do on a, not on a weekly basis, I guess, just grocery shopping at Cow 4 and the kind of foods I generally eat to stay within a good body fat range, good weight range. Um, it's gonna be a lot of proteins, uh, minimal carbs, and green vegetables. Then we'll also share what we buy for Athena as well, healthy foods. Actually, but generally very healthy, maybe try to eat. Obviously we do have those days where we um, have a cheat day or something, but to be honest, I haven't had one of those for ages. Having a pregnant wife, well, she cheats all the time. But don't tell her I said that. All right, so we'll catch you there. We're gonna walk to Carrefour and it's gonna take about 25 minutes. So we'll catch up over there. Athena, you look beautiful today. Let me see your outfit, let me see your outfit. Show us, show us. Changing you into your jacket. It's winter weather now. What's the what's the temperature today? I don't know. It's like seventeen. I think I checked this morning. Oh, really? but it's windy. But it feels cold. I'm not used to this uh, cold weather. That's a nice jacket. Where would you get that jacket from? Is that a Primark special? Yeah, it's Primark. Primark special. Thank you to Nanny Salim and Jude. Don't cry. You're lucky. I haven't even got a jacket. <laughs> I didn't even bring a jacket to this country. I was thinking it's going to be hot all the time. <laughs> but it ain't. So we're going to zip up. We're actually going to head to the doctors, to the clinic, just to get my blood test results. And then we'll head to... We'll head to Calvary. Look at that face. <laughs> don't don't fake moan. Funniest face ever. Athena? Yeah. All right, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Found this shop here that sells boxes. I'm looking to ship my bike back to France, so I'm gonna head in here. So we went to the shop. They don't do a box that fits a, um, a scooter, but they have big boxes. So maybe I'll have to, he said, maybe I'll have to make the box myself. So a big box was six euros. So I think if I buy two big boxes and tape them together in the shape of my bike and then bubble wrap it, it should be good to go and we'll do a send my bag parcel back home. So that should be good. So I'm gonna do that as soon as possible because we're leaving. Uh, before Christmas. All right. Up we go. This is the first time I've been on one of these ramps. It's across the roads. There's a nice view of Valencia. We got to go over that side, across the roads. And these are these are generally the buildings here. Them, they're really nice. I mean, they're. Some would say they're not so modern. Depends where you live. If you're from Dubai, you'd say they're not modern. If you're from England, these are modern. And this is what a lot of people live in. And the apartments are pretty cool. They have really wide roads here. Look, they have like a side road, the main high road, and then another side road. And they also have bike lanes, generally, at least on one side of the road. So I can see them on this side of the road here. I would not want to live up there just purely for the noise, but I guess they have double glazing. And that's the great thing about Valencia. They have really wide roads. It's very pedestrian friendly and even driver friendly in my, in my opinion. Plus, they're not too bad to look at. They've got the manicured grass and um, 
yeah. So we'll see you hopefully nearer towards car four. New buildings, Valencia Basketball Club. There's some beautiful new apartments, probably really cheap as well. I don't know what that is. It could be a basketball stadium for, you know. But we are 10 minutes away from our destination. So let's go. There you go, the Roy Arena. I'm not too sure that is, I'll find out and I'll put it in the description below. Green lady, green lady, green lady. So, let's meet tripping over stones. What's the name of this mall? It really annoys me. Saler. 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 <laughs> Can't they just call it something cool like, I don't know. I don't know. The mall or Twin Pines or I don't know, something easy for us English people. Saler. I will try and remember this. So this is the massive, it's got, I'd say it's pretty good. Really nice shopping mall. It's got the biggest Carrefour here in Valencia and it's got a bunch of other usual suspects. You've got the Zara or Fara, H&M, C&A, which is old school. Unless you're in Europe, it's a normal store, but obviously in England that was extinct in the 2000s and then a few other shops so we're gonna head in now and let's take a look so you'll see there's a it's like a bike lock up there where you can lock up your electric scooter and charge at the same time and then now we're in the store nice and quiet let's go right because it's the weekday. On the weekends, it does get quite busy, actually. Not unbearable, but too busy for me. I don't like shopping. Halloween, nice, nice decorations. Gave him a little black man head nod. You have to respect the brown skin brothers. More young girls wearing inappropriate clothing too short the girls in this country wear too short shorts too, shorts, too, too young. shorts too young so that's my little rant she looked at me did she like what <laughs> you know. yeah well you know i get those looks all the time so kind of used to the attention did, did you want to go getting. to the toilet by the way <laughs> Yes, I do want to go to the toilet, but that was not for the camera. <laughs> but yes, we're going to cut back. But here's the carafour. On the corner, big one. I'm going to pop to the loo and then we'll be back. Look at that. <laughs> Free of charge as well. Mm -hmm. Athena. Beep, beep. Alright, don't get into any accidents. Is she happy? Yeah, she's happy. Mm. Has she been in this before? Yeah, she doesn't remember. She was too small. She's too young. Alright, where should we go? What's the first section? No clue. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of amazing stuff. I think that looks good, but doesn't taste good. That looks good. God, yeah, that all looks good. But, yes, cannot be tempted. If these food, this food is the devil. But it tastes so good. Yeah, I could eat all of those. They look like long life stuff though, so it can't be too good for you. Just look at the ingredients. It's never long life. She's not too long ingredients, but not the best. Yep, full of our worst. Hello. <laughs> full of that horrible girasol, which is basically canola oil. Bollocks. Well, what a sunflower oil, which is even worse. So. It smells like canola. They've got nice fresh produce here in the carrefour. Very, very fresh. How's 
raspberries there? Raspberries. 3.29. Yeah, about three euros. Fresh produce. I'm gonna go straight to the meat. They got loads of frozen burgers here. But the thing is they have so many preservatives in them. I just want how hard is it just to get bloody meat without preservatives in it? Chicken legs, mini pork burgers. I'm gonna get some chicken. Uh, I usually get it from around here. So 7.39 a kilo, 5.79 a kilo. That's probably the cheapest chicken in Spain cheaper than Mercadona. Let me just check the ingredients. Doesn't seem they haven't well, had they haven't stated any preservatives, so it's all good. So with this I'm gonna get how much is that? That is one kilo. So it's probably gonna last around three meals. So I'm gonna get probably like three of these. I'm gonna take three of these. Probably have thighs, but stick that there. And stick that there. We're not too fussy. Oh, three. Not too fussy about organic. Oh, that one's cheaper, is it? No, no, that one's six ninety-five a kilo. I'm not too fussy about the quality, although if I can, I would choose a good quality one. But yeah. You have all these kind of meats here. This is pork, chicken, marinated, but all the marinade stuff always contain tons of crap in it. What's that? What are these? Hearts? Pollo chicken hearts, I guess. Which are probably really good for you as well. They've got chicken livers, which is actually good for you, but I just can't stomach the taste. I don't know what that is. Is that the neck? It was like a chicken dick. Do chickens have dicks? No, chickens are women. Do turkeys have dicks? Yeah, it's chicken. It's probably a chicken neck. Um, I don't know. Maybe loads of Asians like that. But okay, so I've got the chicken. Now I'm gonna go to the beef. No way. We got some good discounts here. What do you mean all of them? There's only two. Oh no, there's four. four. <laughs> yeah, 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 perfect. Perfect for us as I well. I bought these before, oh, these yeah. are really good. So they're basically more than half price. So buy those and then I'm gonna buy where's the usual one I buy? Oh they don't have it. Yeah. Is it that one? No, it's not that one. By one of these ground beefs so there's 1048 kilo i think this is 90 10 when i calculated it and we've got this other beef here which is a lot which is not much cheaper but it just does not taste of beef it's a weird weird taste i can't describe it. it's like eating rubber but and it doesn't actually taste of anything so they also have chicken uh ground chicken as well but i think that again that's full of is that chicken or pork Again, that's full of vegetable extracts, which we don't want. You've got pork mints here. I don't generally eat pork mints. And again, I just see a bunch of E numbers. So, kind of don't pay attention to this one. Uh, probably the same for this. Sodium antioxidants, blah, blah, blah. Um, even though it's not too bad, seven euros a kilo. Um, and then they just got a bunch of other I don't see this in England a lot but they mix a lot of meat with different vegetables and cool colors carrot you've got spinach other stuff sausages are pretty good here in this country as well but um, generally don't eat a lot of sausages so yeah that's the meat so we're good for the meat so I've got my I'm gonna take one of these Actually, I might take two, and then we've got the other burgers, we've got chicken, so 
we're good for at least a week or two so there you go i'm just gonna get one more of these check the date always check the date 30th Go stick that in there. What's the price? Seven euro. Oh, just go buy that. So if you buy three for the price of two, so basically it works out as seven euros a kilo, which is pretty good. But what's in these? I think I've checked before. Just the ingredients. Look at that. Seventy-seven percent is beef. Oh yeah. Okay. So the rest is vegetable, maize, fillers. Like guys, you got to be careful. Like that picture makes it look so this good yeah but it's got vegetables yeah, yeah, just give me 100 percent beef guys like the picture makes it look so healthy but people need to take care look at the label look at the labels guys because yeah it's not going to kill you immediately but i think over time just having poor quality food like that is just it's just not good for you you've only got one body so you might as well treat it with as much respect as you can as possible um loads of tortillas staying away from this i mean this all looks great i love this like this is like a chicken chicken pies pizzas i mean the quality of food is probably a lot better than us for example oh yeah strollers over there let me just I'm, i want to buy some of this as well some fuet which is basically like salami or chorizo or not chorizo but kind of uh whatever you call it um, what do they call it in France? This stuff? What, is, what do they call this though? In France, I forgot. These sausages. Saucisson. Saucisson sec. Okay. I generally like to get the hard one that doesn't have the nitrates in it. That's quite reasonable. Three for the price of two, but I really don't want to buy three packets to have six because I will just eat them. Uh, I'm not sure if this one contains nitrates or not, but I'll check later on. Usually I would go for the green one, which generally means it's more healthy, but look in this case, not really. Full of stabilizers, so on and so forth. Um, I generally like to just get the ones with no additives. Or oh, are they organic? It's got some preservatives in it, but that's normal potassium nitrate. I don't actually know how much this one is. Yeah, see, you're gonna pay more for that 11.45. I mean, I generally would pay around five, six euros. Um, tons of pork, which is a pretty good... Pork is very lean meat, actually. I just... Not the big fan of pork when it comes to just general day-to-day -day cooking, but if you did want pork, this is a pretty lean cut of pork. You can see that. Five euros, 29 a kilo. Uh ingredients it doesn't have a breakdown of the antioxidants and stuff like that but i would avoid these kind of ones because these ones will have all the enums in them yep you don't even need to really look at the ingredients in detail you just need to look at the actual number of right look if you buy pork it should just say 100 percent pork but when you start seeing tons of you know detail on the back of the these labels just forget about it just forget about it move on so we have bacon that's probably quite that's a decent bacon oscar myers oh five oh you're measuring the time as well oh that must be coming through my phone yeah that's what i said i thought it was coming through my uh wrist watch I'm gonna check out the frozen uh, beef burgers or the frozen beef here okay let's have a look no prices anywhere or was it on the actual meat? Okay. So two steaks. Around five euros a steak. So five euros for Expensive. 250 grams of beef. Expensive, I think. Is it? No? I don't know, I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like it. Probably maybe, maybe not. I mean in France we were buying the anglais for 20 and you have a Yeah, that's true. A lot. And it's fresh. Beef burgers. Here. The problem with these, it doesn't say what percentage of fat it is, so you have to calculate it yourself. But this is three euros for 100 for 300 grams, so per burger is 150 per burger. 
but the price per kilo is like nearly 10 euros per kilo which i don't know it's okay i guess and then check this out they sell just burgers by themselves it looks quite nice if you check the ingredients 95 percent beef and then the rest is bread bread crumbs i guess salt maize and all these conservatives and sulfites yeah, corn. corn yeah yeah which is not good so i wouldn't buy this and then here big big in spain they have a mixture of um pork and cow so cute isn't it mm -hmm. they have a lot of this here 45 percent cow 45 percent pork and again the rest filled with fillers which is again disappointing so on the floor then more fell on the floor uh, apple well yeah apple fell they take this other piece it's dirty now they take this thank you um all right let's go maybe you need to try that that that's that is heavy. oh my god that'd be so nice i that's love bouncing heaven. soft baked I tried that in Belgium when I, I lived in Mucron. Are they healthy? They're good. That wasn't the answer. Uh, I don't know, it's in Polish and Spanish. Polish, Spanish. Oh, Spanish. What's the Okay, that's just like basically flour and chocolate uh, corn. I'm sold. Get it? No, I'm joking. Don't get it. Get it if you want to eat it, but... Come on, Twix. What are you doing to us, Twix? M&M's. God damn. But they all taste sublime. My mouth is watering. And look at this. This Nutella jumped that out at us just as we were walking by. No. No, no, no. I'm not falling for you. Alright, I'm gonna I need to buy some some jelly. Sugar-free jelly. Here it is. They don't do many flavours here in Spain. They just got lemon and then they got blueberry and uh, this one is actually really nice i'm gonna buy some of that and yes they probably contain a spa time but what can you do right now i would like to make it myself but as long as there's zero calorie and i don't eat this often and most of it's water anyway so it's not too bad for you oh you've eaten already <laughs> she's opened it in the store let me smell it. Mm, oh my god. <laughs> That's some good shit. Okay, okay. It smells good. Oh! Oh, I just dropped some of it. Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? You gonna drive? You ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. We got sidetracked. And we are at the oils and sauces, the condiment section. So I basically have enough condiments, but if you're on a diet or if you're trying to eat healthy, these are your friends. Anything hot sauce, generally this, 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 this. This is nice, but I think it's got a few extra carbs in it. Yeah, it's got 10 grams, seven of sugar. So I would avoid that, but these ones here are generally good barbecue sauce is amazing this is um ronnie coleman's favorite but the amount of sugar in this is crazy and it's, i think it's got high fructo fructose or at least the one in america does i can't see that anywhere but sometimes they call it something different in different countries but whatever that is that's not part of my diet 40 grams of sugar per 100 so just think about that think about that's nearly that's 40 percent of this whole bottle so that is sugar so barbecue sauce is off the menu don't get distracted by this as well you'll see this as zero a lot of products these days are saying zero you think oh zero sugar zero fat zero carbs no they just called it zero literally it's got 18 grams i don't know if you can see that 18 grams of carbs um one gram of sugar but where's the other 18 grams coming from that's why i'm confused if the carbs is not made uh, from the sugar where's the other 16.7 grams of carbs coming from and that's not on the label for some reason so i don't know i'm avoiding that um but i've already got mustard 
but the mustards here in Spain again they I don't know why but they just don't contain just straight mustard they got water vinegar mustard salt curcumin sucralosa they got sucrose in them they got bloody sugar even though it says without sugar it actually read that says without added sugar so it actually has sugar in there but they haven't added to it i've just never understood that mentality this is your lifesaver french's because i know french's generally has nothing in it it has vinegar water mustard salt curcumin spices natural aromas and something else but generally that's the best one so i think i don't need any right now actually uh, this one contains sugar so just be careful with mustard sometimes they put some sugar in them so um but i will buy some ketchup and the best ketchup that they do here well the healthiest this one is 45 percent less sugar i'm just going to read the ingredients uh yeah it's got sugar vinegar alcohol i don't know i'm not sold on that one this is the one i generally get because i don't eat a lot of ketchup but this generally has 5.8 grams per, per whatever serving this one has here we go per 100 it's got 17 grams per 100 that's 17 grams and that's natural and then per 100 this has 19 grams so even more carbs and it's not natural right and then we go to the zero one we only got five grams per hundred which is probably why i generally buy that so i might just buy a small one because i don't eat that much ketchup or i try not to eat that much ketchup it's pretty how much 245 and then this one has 50 percent less sugar which basically works out 12 grams which is double so don't be fooled by advertising and that one's 25 grams so i'm just trying to and this one is called zero see very similar packaging but zero what's the difference so let's check the difference in the zero one you have 5.4 grams all right per 100 and this one you have 12 grams and this one zero as well or zero 5.8 grams all right and that's 5.4 so this is a slightly less but the price is 389 and that one's 245 and this one tastes pretty good it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in it um generally for tomato ketchup it's generally okay and uh, as i said i don't eat a lot of that i'll have one or two little squirts here and there and that's it so we've got our condiments in terms of oils actually the oils are pretty good here i would always recommend do not buy oils in plastic always buy glass bottles the darker the color of the bottle the better um, i do need some extra virgin olive oil spray this is a pretty good brand and uh yeah i think that's it i'll stop talking to myself now and we'll get back to we need to buy some frozen vegetables and i think that's about it maybe a little bit of cheese a part of my diet but i just want to show you the price of alcohol here in spain 247 for a bottle of wine 197 um 247 287 basically three euros for alcohol it's absolutely mad it's 179 179 for 75 centiliters of booze I mean, absolutely, I can't believe it. I mean, how are they making a profit on this? I do not know. Um, and when you look at other countries and they sell it for, I mean, when we were living in Thailand, this would be 20 times the price. I mean, I, I, don't quote me on how good these wines are, but if anyone just wants to have a drink and you're not too fussy, you can get something for 183 if you're broke. And even the most expensive ones are like, what, seven, eight, nine, ten? But I'd say the average is like four or five. And look at these rosés, 195. Why aren't there drunk people rolling over and just being a mess in the streets? I don't know what that tells you about other cities where you see a lot of 
homeless people drinking or people getting I don't I don't really know what that means I don't know if there's more people casually drinking at home here or if people have been conditioned to drink or not to drink a lot or <coughs> excuse me either drink a lot and just kind of hide it from from the public I have no clue but when you're telling countries to limit alcohol consumption and by putting up the prices and it's not working you come here and you see alcohol for less than two euros and you generally don't see people just being drunk and foolishness around it I don't know food for thought as they say but always interesting perspective yes cheese section my favorite section what are we looking at here cheese bro. cheese what cheese is that? No, this is first ingredient first ingredient margarine. Margarine and cheese. <laughs> I don't even know margarine exists. That is abs. Look at that. This should just say cheese. It's got margarine, salt, emulsifiers, correct all the cheese, milk, tons of E numbers in there. And people just buy that because it's like they just see cheese and they see the price. What you got? Sometimes you. Most of the time, you've just got to go for quality, even if it costs you a few extra cents or a few extra euros. How much do you buy the one in Lidl? I uh, can't remember. For Emmental? I can't remember. Yeah. How much is this one? This one's per like kilo. Sure, like per kilo. Uh, I don't know, there's an offer on it. I know, but it always tells you per kilo. It says three units for 518. A kilo. A kilo, 14. yeah. 14 euros a kilo. So I don't know. Dinner. But uh, the ingredients of this are good. Yeah, this one is like 100% Emmental. It just says 100% Emmental, where? Yeah. Look at that, ingredients. There. Emmental and cellulose. Two ingredients. Compared to... Compared to this one, compared the to cheapest this. one. Look at that. 49%. Melted cheese. It's yes. got about 10 lines of ingredients. And this has two ingredients. So, there you go. Always look at the ingredients. And we're gonna look at this. Basically, this is like um, it's like cream. It's like cheese cream. It's not very cheesy, but this is a really good addition to like a salad. And it's super cheap. It's only like one euro is forty-five for half a kilo, and you get ten grams of protein, and I think it's like three, four grams of carbs. And you're not gonna have, and that's per hundreds. And per meal, you'll probably only have 50 grams. So this is definitely good to add to your salads, get you extra protein, minimal calories, and it's cheap, man. It's only 145. And then we've got some other mascarpone, ricotta, which are all pretty good cheeses when you're on like a low um, carb diet. Uh, cottage cheese is always good, but I've already got a bunch of that already. And then they sell. Um, put that there then they sell these protein cheeses which i've tasted before and 150 grams is 230 and 150 grams is going to cost you two but you have to buy three units but generally you got 25 grams of protein i think it's per slice yeah per slice is 75 grams and you're going to get 25 grams and low low carbs negligible which is really good and look at the ingredients just pasteurized milk salt and some other something else and this one here ingredients again it's pretty good same ingredients but higher protein well actually i like it says 34 grams of protein per hundred right but each slice is not 100 that's the that's the kicker on paper this one looks better because it has more protein but that's actually more accurate because it's telling you 25 grams per slice this is not telling you per slice it just tells you per hundred so actually if you look at the the ingredients here it's 150 grams will get you 34 grams 150 grams is double the grams of that so that tells you everything half this so that actually has more protein in it than this and it's maybe a little bit more expensive but usually it's actually cheaper so i know it takes a little bit of maths to do but this one is so much better i'm not going to buy any now because i don't need any but that's just how you calculate the protein just make sure you look at the portion sizes because it can be a tricky tricky to navigate um and i think 
burrata. They have uh, some offers on feta, which is good for diets. Um, I might buy one or two burrata because I like that. High in fat though, good fat, but still you need to watch the calories on that. So if I'm eating one of these, I would generally not have any more fats in my diet during the day, generally. Other than the fat that comes from some, um, what do you call it, some nuts. Uh, I'm also looking for parmesan as well, because parmesan is a good, good option. Uh, let me just get one brie, because the wife likes brie. Again, high in fat, low in carbs, good for a keto diet. Uh, just don't overdo it. And then parmesan differs in price. Um, the really expensive one is obviously really good and then you can get cheaper one as well i don't eat a lot of it to be honest so i might just get something small like this ingredients seem okay don't see any e numbers in that so i'll probably just get this this is what how much is this 289 uh 28 euros per kilo this one is us Emmental, we don't want that. So I always go by the kilo price. So 25. We don't have to be a bit of a, we don't have to be snobbish. Yeah, we can go for this one. So long as the ingredients are good. It's all good. And that goes in there. So Athena's picked out three deodorants for me. Because I stink, apparently. <laughs> And I need to shave. <laughs> the V is definitely not for me. Oh, good. All right. I did actually need someone. She's a good girl. Look, she's she's uh she's getting me the special offer. Actually, she, actually, she gave me three. How yeah. Is that? I don't need three though. <laughs> I literally need one. Merci, mon bébé. Oh, wait, which flavor? Original Night Panther. I gotta get that Night Panther. for the ladies. Merci. Apparently I stink as well. That's the second one that she's bringing me. Alright, I'm gonna get Night Panther. Just because it reminds <laughs> me of um, Anchorman when he has that That's the first one she brings to you. Sex Panther. Alright, that's enough, you know. <laughs> so basically, uh, we're finished shopping here. We've got the food, we've got everything. We've got meat, we've got dairy, we got some treats, not for me. Merci. So we're going to cash this up at the register and then we're going to go home and show you what we got. <laughs> it's a girl. What do you want? Where? Oh yeah. A chien and a strumpf, aka smurfs. Yes, the uh, distractions from going home. <laughs> She's scared. You're scared of the dog? Come on. Be a little scaredy cat. 